Well, welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and we're in the indoors, but in the outdoors. We've got the otter hub set up. We're fishing for lake trout. We're using rattle baits today. Tantrums, Tantrum 100. We'll probably use a tube jig at some point as well. But today's mission is rattle baits and tube jigs. We're gonna get her done, hopefully. Dropping down, I've got the underwater camera just recording on the whole camera because the visibility is too bad down there. Got to turn my gain down just a little bit here just to get rid of some of the noise. We're looking good. We're looking really good. I got a mark on the bottom. Not sure if it's bait or a lake trout. We will find out here. I'm gonna stop halfway down, actually and check my drag first. Looks good. Let's drop down. But yes, like I said, lake trout fishing today. Hoping to uh, put some of them big mamas on the ice, but it's lake trout and we'll, and we'll settle for anything. And it's got, all right. Okay, I swear this intro was not staged. This was just the start of my day. And like I've mentioned in a lot of other videos, you're gonna, a lot of times with lake trout, you'll drop down and catch one like instantly because you'll catch an active fish in that area. And then it could be slow for a little bit while, or you could like hammer them for a little bit because you have some good fish in there. And then it'll slow down later. But yeah, that was instant on the rattle bait, like instant. Oh, trying to get my transducer up. And here he is, instant. <laughs> rattle bait's got extra trebles, so I got to really watch because these trout will be swingy. Easy, easy. Look at that little porker. Just got the front treble hardly hooked there. Okay, hooks out. We'll get this boy back down there. Boy, girl, whatever you are. See ya. So that took all of uh, three seconds. That's why I use my tantrum there. I just hooked the two hooks up on the bottom of the line there and send it down. No, just kidding. Just kidding. This is the new tantrum from frostbite size 100 that i plan to crush some lake trout and walleye with i already have caught one nice laker with like a 36 37 incher but i haven't used my pile so today i told myself i'm going to spend some time using just the rattle bait rattle bait down deploy see if we can get to the bottom this time i got another mark coming up here already as i'm dropping down i haven't made it to the bottom yet look at it's coming jeez okay well yeah i had a feeling this bait was gonna crush fish like insane rattle baits are so good for lake trout now if you're able to upsize them it, in my mind it's even better okay <laughs> yeah okay okay he's in my little slush pocket there Okay, swim around my little slush pocket making a mess. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate the mess you're making me. Well, I don't really appreciate it. That's a that's sarcasm. That's sarcasm. Trout two. Quick, easy, way too easy actually. <clears throat> he soaked me. Like soaked me. I love the idea of an upsized rattle bait. It's like basically as big as the palm of my hand type of thing. Maybe just a little bit smaller, but right there. It's four inches, I believe. I love the idea of an upsized rattle bait. Lots of times in the summer, we'll troll smaller rattle baits for like action lake trout. And I think now with just an upsized bait like this for lake trout, I think you have a chance of catching big fish with it too, not just smaller fish. So just like that, bang, bang, two lake trout, and now nothing. Screen's dead, everything. Oh, jeez, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, keep it away. <laughs> this rattle bait is an awesome chase bait in terms of trying to get away. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I was just saying that I was had nothing going on all of a sudden because it was just like bang, bang, lake trout, and then I went 10 minutes with like nothing on the screen at all. And I was saying that how, or I was gonna say that you catch lake trout that are in the area right away, and then you have to wait for more to move in. He dropped the bait right there. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Oh, just having some water and there's a mark coming up to me here. Come on. 
There's a mark coming up to me. Here it comes. Come on. Rattle baits make such a good, such a good chase bait. Lots of vibration, lots of noise as it's trying to get away. So good. So good. Look at him fight underneath the ice. Oh, come on, transducer. Okay, transducer. Look at him fight right below the ice. So good. Oh, oh. Turn himself around in the hole there somehow. Come on, buddy. I'm going to actually let him go back down so I can reset him here in the hole again. I don't care if I lose him. There we go. Don't like him coming up tail first. Okay, buddy. Okay. Just a little guy. But I'm going to take a couple lake trout home to eat. And this guy is going to be on the agenda. He's going to be a barbecued baked lake trout once I get home. Okay. Battle bait number two. Again, still tantrum 100. I'm not sure of the name of this color. So I'll put it right here. Right here somewhere. Yeah. Woo. Woo! Woo! Oops. I've lost my mind clearly. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that mark just appeared on my bait. Honestly, I didn't even mark him. I was just like, all of a sudden, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, there's weight. And then on my rod, I didn't even see the mark come in. He must just come in from the side and straight on it. it never came from the bottom or nothing like that. There's another mark chasing it there too at 35 feet. <laughs> Pair of Lakers must have moved in. There he is. It's a little guy. Just a little guy. Oh, he's not that bad. It's not that bad. Let's see if he can get out the hole. If he gets, gets off, he gets off. Oh, oh, chikai, 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 chikai. Lakers always like to freak out when they get to the hole. Chikai. This one will also go home with me for the barbecue. Caught one on the other rattle bait though. We'll take him outside, bleed him out, and uh, get back to fishing. Dropping back down. I like to bleed out any fish that I'm gonna eat. It just makes the meat way, way cleaner. I, re I recommend bleeding them out. In a lake trout, you can slit their throat and actually take their heart right out and bleed them out really well. Oh, got a mark on the bottom end. About 10 feet off here. And right down to the bottom here. Oh, mark's coming. Oh, is that one mark? Ooh, is that one mark? Oh, no, there was two marks. <laughs> oh, I thought I had a good, a good fish coming up me, but it split into two. So there was actually three fish down there. There was two tight to the bottom, and then that one um, up a little bit higher. And when that first one, or when this mark started to come off the bottom, I thought I had a, a big mark coming at me. I really did. This guy had me fooled here. For a mark down there. He's got lots of energy. We're gonna get him back quick before he flops out of my hands. Cause I could just tell he's squirmy, squirmy. It was cool though. As soon as that rattle bait got down to the, those bottom marks, it was just like, oh, mark on the bottom, mark on the bottom, and <laughs> mark on the bottom. And just as I'm doing that, there's a lake trout up here underneath the ice, eating stuff off the bottom of the ice. That is so crazy. Let's go back down to this mark though here real quick. He bumped it once. We're gonna go back down, see if we can get him to go again. There he is again, lake trout at the bottom. That is crazy. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Looks like a little bit better mark, maybe. Here he comes. A little bit better mark, I think. Got him. Got him. There's another one at the bottom of the ice again, too. That is awesome. <laughs> I've got lake trout on the bottom, which I'm fighting right now that I caught. And I've got one below the ice, which is eating. This one feels a little bit better. I don't think giant, but definitely a little bit better fish. Oh, baby. So head shaky. I gotta get down to my transducer, but it won't let me. No, it's not that big. It's just hooked in the top of the top of the head funny there. <laughs> That was awesome. That was awesome. Lake trout up high, eating off the bottom of the ice. 
And then lake trout down low eating my rattle bait. So cool. Little guy, the rattle bait. That was awesome to watch. Definitely, definitely watched him to watch it. There was lake trout up high eating insects or stuff off the bottom of the ice. And then uh, that one down low. I think that's like fish three on this color rattle bait too. I like this guy. It's almost like a fire tiger basically. And on both of those rattle baits, I'm running a size number one um, Savage Gear Grip Treble. I just like the fact that, like I've done this in other videos already, that you can twist, 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 and the fish can't get leverage. Pretty good combination, I think, with those two right there. Awesome. Come on. Come on. Chase. Chase. Rattle baits, just keep them moving. Keep them moving. Keep them moving. Keep them moving, keep them thumping as you're reeling them up. And that will sometimes trigger the bite for sure. Like I said, I've already said in this video, they're a great chase bait. Keep them moving, they got a little rattle in them. Keep it away from them, make them think that it's real. Make them think that it's a real fish trying to get away. Then it'll come up and have a snack. This one's got a little bit more of a fight to him for sure. So cool watching him. He's got that tantrum right in the top of his, top of his mouth, right in the top of the beak. Top of the beak. Just keep the bait moving. Sometimes on a spot works, but more often than not, you got to be kind of reeling up for lake trout, kind of just bringing it slowly to the surface. Oh yeah, a little bit nicer one. A little bit nicer. A little bit nicer. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, and like I've already said a few times, Chikai, 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 buddy, Chikai. Like I've said a few times, watch that hook. Two hooks on a lure for lake trout can spell trouble. There we go. He's trying to squirm pretty heavy, so I'm going to get him back quick. But he's trying to squirm on me hard, 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 hard. He wants to go back. And there he goes. And there he goes. <laughs> so cool and i'm getting text messages i must be popular today well we've had lots of fun with the fire tiger color I forget what color it is like i said i probably put in the video we're gonna go back to the metallic sexy shad a little bit probably my favorite color it's a mark coming up to my bait here come on come on come on got him nice got him <laughs> feels like this bait catches like every fish it comes by it's crazy at least every like average size laker i haven't put it in front of many big lakers yet so we shall see at some point we shall see at some point i'm hoping i'm hoping i still probably have a little bit more confidence with a tube jig with the bigger lakers just because of the profile of the bait but oh that was a bad job of getting that uh transducer out that time fish is messing around the bottom of the hole i went back to the blue and the chrome um tantrum metallic sexy shad it's called that's a gooder okay buddy come on come on oh into the slush hole you go eh? into the slush hole you go and he's off but he's swimming around in my slush hole is he gonna get away he doesn't know how to go down there he goes back down nothing to it nothing to it the bottom of the ice or no top of the ice bottom of the snow there's like a slush pocket there where it's like, I don't know, a little bit bigger than the hole, obviously, that is starting to melt because the water is higher than the ice. And I'm sitting on like a big giant snowbank, basically. So it creates like a little slush, slush pocket in there and he swims around and then it gets a mess like this right now. And yeah, but anyways, it is 1.30. Marks are like few and far between for sure, but it's midday, sometimes a midday bite can be a little bit slower for me for lake trout so we'll just keep at her and hope uh hope a bigger one comes by yet oh this mark fly up just had my bait sitting in the rod holder tapped it got it got it sometimes if the bite's slower honestly just take your bait about 10 feet off the bottom and dead stick it and you would be surprised fish will come up and have a look off the bottom You'd be very, very surprised. Don't underestimate dead sticking your bait, even a rattle bait. I'm not saying you're gonna 
necessarily hook them like that. You probably have to get the bait moving to hook them, but if it's 10 feet up and it starts to come off the bottom, you have time to get that bait going. Little guy there again, really floppy. It wants to take off on me, so I got a good grip of its tail. I'm gonna let it go. See ya, buddy. I love when they're just like, what was going on? What was that? Who was that? Well, it was Clayton Sheck Outdoors. Oh, oh, there's a mark right there chasing. Jeez, got him. <laughs> I was just gonna reel up and maybe try a tube jig for a bit because I haven't had a mark forever. And all of a sudden this mark shoots up from the bottom, like shoots straight up, 12, 14. I've already had my lunch. It's been slow been slow for the last like probably hour and a half type of thing so but this mark come up and crushed it i still might switch to it switch to a tube jigging a little bit just something a little bit more bigger profile maybe fish can see from farther away because i'm not marking many fish right now at all that's awesome i love watching him down there just let him kind of do his thing and when he turns here i'll kind of pull him up towards the hole but for the most part i'm just keeping slow oh he's coming up backwards i don't want you to come up backwards that's not going to be good okay actually Backwards, I can grab him by his tail at least, I guess. And show him off right there. Okay, he's got that rattle bait right there. The tantrum. Those hooks, don't let them throw those hooks around because you'll end up with one right in your face. That could be the worst. Taking a hook in the hand is one thing. Hook in the face, not so much. Tantrum's out. One more look there. Ooh, okay, okay. He tried, he tried. Now he's stuck in the slush. Gotta go down, gotta go down, buddy. There you go, see ya. He tried to flop out of my hands, that was close. That was close. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, ah, what was that? Okay, let's try a tube jig for a bit. Just see if we can draw some more fish in, but the rattle baits have been really good. They've basically caught any fish that's been around. I haven't had any, or many marks that I have uh, had not, or come in and not eat. So good. It's time to let the big dog eat. Okay, it's time to let the big dog eat for the rest of the day. We're gonna see if we can score our ass a big mama. Not that it won't bite a tantrum too. It's just getting later in the day and I'm going with my confidence bait. He either ate it. I think he ate it. I think he has it in his mouth. He does too, he ate it. He was like swimming at the same speed of my jig that should be falling because all of a sudden the the mark stopped moving and so did obviously my jig and I was like, it shouldn't be at the bottom yet. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's awesome. Well, not a not uh not the fish we're looking for with the tube jig, definitely, but it's a start though. It's a start. It's a start. It's a start. Aggressive though. Really aggressive. Come on, buddy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Not bad. Easy. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. Another dark one. Today's been lots of dark fish. Lots of dark fish. Okay, buddy. Soak this place again. It's getting dark. Can't even tell how my lighting is right now. That's it though. I did 12 hours today. I, I caught some more fish that probably aren't on the video, but they're just smaller ones. There wasn't really any point of adding much more to it in terms of like cookie. <clears throat> okay, that wraps up my day. I did 12 hours out here. It got really slow. Like barometer went up, pressure system moved in, trout shut off, which is like something that happens all the time right you just it's out of your control 12 hours we, we put in a day a full day i'm tired i'm exhausted and i'm ready to go to bed but thank you so much for watching and don't forget get outside